Hi everyone, my name is Paul Brusson and today I'm going to be showing you a super useful but extremely unknown feature inside of Houdini. And it has to do with driving parameters using attributes. So let's say that we have a very simple network. We have a pig head and we have a scatter sop. If we have the scatter sop selected and we have our display flag set on there, and we modify the uh, force total count, we expect something to happen in the viewport, right? This parameter modifies what happens inside of the algorithm of the node itself. Now, this is super useful, um, but let's say that we want to drive this, or this parameter or several other parameters um, by another scatter sop, right? Where we modify this uh, scatter sop's parameter and we want this one's parameters to update. Now, what we could do is we could say copy parameter of this scatter sop and we could just say paste relative reference there. And then now when we modify the other scatter sop's uh, parameters, we see that the other one updates. Now, this is useful, but it's not always uh, possible to do this. For example, if you're dealing with uh, locked nodes or you have some other thing driving this, uh, but most importantly, um, we would like to drive this using attributes. Now, the other thing that we could do, of course, is create a wrangle and uh, we could create a, an, in, an integer attribute on here. For example, I add count equals uh, 10,000, for example, like that. And uh, we set that to be detail. And then on here, we can just right click and we can say um, uh, reference scene data and then just click on the node. We grab the attribute that we just created. And now, of course, uh, we are driving that parameter through um, the attribute that we've created here and that we're referring to, right? If we update this, we can see that this all updates. Now, that's also cool, but also not quite what I want to do yet because I don't want to create any channel references, like I said. So what we can do is we can make use of uh, two things. I'm going to be showing you both. The first one is we can use the attrib from parms node, which allows you to essentially store all of a node's parameters and its values as a detail dictionary attribute. And what that means is that if we have, for example, another scatter sop and we have our attribute from parms and we refer to the node path uh, to the other scatter sop, what we will see now is if we go to the geometry spreadsheet that in the detail attribute, which is a dictionary called parm, as you see here, if we inspect that, we can see that all of the node's parameters and its values are represented as this dictionary. Now, this is cool because let's say that we see this parameter called NPTS, which is a number of points, which currently is a thousand. If we update this to be, for example, a hundred thousand, and we now look at the updated um, attribute value, we see that now this is also updated. Now this is extremely cool because we can actually make use of this feature to drive parameter values of another node. And this is how you do it. You click on the node that you want to drive through um, a detail a dictionary attribute, and you're going to be adding a new spare input. Okay. On the spare input, you're going to be referring to the node that contains the detailed dictionary attribute. Now, in this case, since the attribute from Parm is creating the detailed dictionary attribute, I'm going to refer to that one. But of course, if let's say, you know, you're doing some further processing and um, your detail attribute changes, then you, of course, can just refer to a different node. As long as the um, node that you want to read from contains that attribute, right? The detail attribute called parms, which is a dictionary. Now, if I go and update this scatter sop, right, like this, uh, we know that the detail dictionary attribute is going to be updating, but we don't quite see the uh, scatter sop updating yet, even though we're referring to the node in a spare input. Now, this is where the secret trick comes in. We're going to click edit parameter interface. We're going to be adding a integer uh, parameter. And uh, the name of this parameter is extremely important, right? So if you've got this right, it is basically going to work. So we're going to say spare underscore, and then we're going to name it parm input index, parm input index. And the label, we can just call it whatever it is we want. So for example, 
um, spare input driver index. Okay, and now when we look at this, we can see that by default it creates zero, but what we need this integer uh, parameter to refer to is the spare input that we'd like to use as a driver for our parameters, right? So which spare input contains the detailed dictionary attribute parms that we just created? Well, in this case, since we only have one spare input, we can just hover over it and then we can read in the tooltip, refer to this in expressions as negative one. So we just set this parameter to be negative one. And now when we update um, this scatter SOPs parameters, we can actually see that it is driving all of the parameters of this node here. And as you can see, I don't have any channel references. The only thing that we've done here is added a spare input. We referred, made another parameter that tells us which spare input we want to use to drive it. And now we've got that node to drive all the parameters. And as you can see, everything of that node basically updates um, by the parameter values that we have on the other scatter sop, right? So for example, the seed, the number of points uh, and everything else, because all of that is contained in this dictionary attribute. Now, let's say that we don't wanna use the attribute from Parms, but we want something much simpler. Then we can also, for example, just use a wrangle. Uh, we're just gonna create a wrangle. We make a detail wrangle. All we just need to do is make a detailed dictionary attribute called Parms and uh, put values inside of it, right? So now if we take this scatter sop and we tell it to use this um, attribute wrangle, uh, we get an error because you know this is not quite uh, a dictionary yet, it's not populated. But what we can do is we can just type the name of the parameters that we wanna uh, populate and then give it values and then you will see that it works. So now if for example, we change this detail uh, dictionary attribute which we can see now is just a very simple one with only a simple single key with a value. Uh, we now, however, see that this wrangle is driving um, this node. So that's super cool. Um, use this uh, wisely. You can, for example, use this to um, remove any um, locked nodes that you've got inside of an HDA. So imagine that you have an HDA and the nodes all inside are, of course, not editable and you have some top level parameter that you want to modify uh, internal parameters with, this is also another method to do that. So the only thing that really matters is that you have a detailed dictionary attribute called parms and on the node that you want to drive, you add a spare input and you create another uh, spare parameter with a very specific name, it's called spare underscore parm input index where the value is equal to which spare input we want to use. And that's it. Uh, enjoy using this feature. I hope it comes in handy and uh, good luck.